Besides the fact I found my very first CD player back, I also have a lot of unboxing to do. Received some packages the last weeks, but I didn't have time because it was very busy at work. So let's do this. Hi, I'm the hip hop collector. Hiphopcollector.com. As you could see in last week's episode, I found my uh, Beastie Boys tape back, which made me really happy. And from that same attic, still have to bring back a lot of stuff. But in the first bags and boxes, I also found my very first CD player. Also brings back a lot of memories. It's not in the best condition, as you can see. The late 90s, my laser was not working well anymore. Got a bit frustrated, start hitting it. It's not how you treat your stuff. Anyway, uh, I plugged it in and the display still works, which is really cool. Brings back a lot of memories, as I told you. And the thing that hits me the most is that power button. I don't know if you also have that, if you smell something or hear something from the past. It brings back a lot of memories. And I'm not sure if you will hear it, but if you push the power button, that sound. Wow, you cannot imagine how many times I pushed that button way back in the 90s. That sound alone, wow, that's cool. Uh, maybe I'll just keep the front. Just as a memory, the back part of the gate is totally gone. Pieces are missing. Maybe the front as a memory. My first Sony CD player. Very cool to find back, very cool. Second part of this episode. Some unboxing I have to do. Here are some boxes that I received lately. Didn't have time to open them up because it's so busy at work. So I thought, why not sharing it with you guys? What I was ordering lately. I don't order that much anymore like I did in the past. We'll do a whole episode about that, why that is. But from time to time, it's cool. So let's do this. I will open them up now so I can share what's inside. And to do so, I will use my also found back in the attic of my mother my Rambo knife oh boy what do people keep in attics my Rambo knife okay let's do this good everything is unpacked here we go super nice let's start off with that latest album by the Jungle Brothers. So happy to have it in my collection. Limited edition 500 only made. This is number 19, I see. Cool, big up to the Jungle Brothers. Next up, some hieroglyphics. Super nice, always been a huge fan of those. What do we have here? The latest atmosphere. Very nice album, really like it. It's always quality. Next up, Zarface, MF Doom. Super nice album. Next up, the 30th anniversary remastered deluxe edition includes five unreleased tracks. Slick Rick. Awesome. Super classic. The Liquid Swords, the instrumentals. Genius Jizza. Awesome. I already had it on vinyl, but that was bootleg. This looks more legit. 
What do we have here? Rubber Room, some underground rap. The album that they released way back was awesome. Very happy to find that this one also. Cool, Rubber Room. Check out their albums, they're really, really good. What do we have here? Some Record Store Day release from 2015. Schoolie D. Always nice to find some Schoolie D. When I find Schoolie D, I always take it. Just like stuff from Ice T. I'm a Stan. Nice, super good. Uh, what do we have here? This is the one I was looking for for a long time on vinyl because it was sold out. The Notorious JBs, the big payback, James Brown, Notorious B.I.G. Had it already on a cassette, but I wanted to have the vinyl as well. And last up, what do we have here? J Rolls and J Live, super rapping. Always nice to have in the collection. Cool! Very happy with my stuff that I bought in the last few weeks. Gonna put them on now, relax a bit, putting them in my online overview and just enjoy them. See you all in the next episode. Peace. Oh yeah, and to that guy who called me the Bob Ross of hip-hop, thank you, I really love that. Peace.